Hello, this is Mr. Kirkovic for uh, tutorial 2 for grade 8 art on uh, the character illustration unit. And for this tutorial you are going to need uh, this TIFF file, uh, which you can find on the, the wiki to download it. It's this one here under week 4. And to open this, all we're simply going to do this time around is I'm going to click and drag this over the Adobe Illustrator icon here in the dock. and you'll see it'll open like this and this the stuff you have in your tools here might be whoever used it uh, last if they ch happen to change the workspace at all so I'm just using the workspace just the the essentials here and that should be good enough and just to remind you that command minus is to zoom out command plus is to zoom in and you'll see the instructions are located right here and you will need to place this TIFF file in a new Illustrator file, and that's what we have here now. And first, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to save as, and I'll just put my my name. Oh, geez. And put your group, please. And I'll just save it on the desktop, and click save and just click OK for now. So you see the title has changed there. So the next thing we want, want to do is uh, lock the layer and create a new layer that we can draw on and that's just located down here and if I just click this one here there's to create a layer and this layer is the actual layer that has uh, this TIFF file in it. So I'm just going to lock that just so it doesn't move and I'm going to draw on this new layer here and we're going to next select the pen tool and we're going to change the fill color over here to none and we'll change the stroke to something bright like red and we're going to go down to the stroke here and change that to maybe three or four just so it's easier to see so what we're going to do is start at this green dot and work our way around the maze until we get to the finish line here so all we need to do is simply click here and if you remember we hold down shift that will make a perfectly straight vertical line as well as a horizontal line and we can do this part fairly quickly and here I'm letting go of shift because it's not a 45 degree angle and here again I'm holding shift all for these straight lines and here I do not need shift just simply clicking and again I'm using shift in this area and here's where we start to get into our bends so I'm just going to simply click here and I'm moving this handle just kind of in the direction that the line is moving in and it's not perfect yet and we can fix fix that up later I'm just going around here and when we get to this area if you remember if we click here drag this across like that now here's where it can get a bit tricky because if I simply click here you see that's what I don't want so I'll just command Z to edit undo that and you remember before if you hold down the option key and you swing this handle around you'll get something a bit more accurate and we can change that up and repair that later and I'm going to swing this around again by doing the op holding down the option key and moving the handle again now this part you'll get also can get confusing see so you see if I click here it'll still make a curve and I'm going to hold down the option and just take this handle and just going to put it in the direction that I want to go and you see it makes it straight there and I have another straight line so hold down the shift
and just drag those handles along. Now let's see if we can do it this way. And I'm doing this very quickly. Uh, again, I have to hold down the Option key and take this handle, move it the direction I would like to go. Working my way around, trying to use only one continuous line. Again, hold down the option, swing the handle. And you see if you shorten or stretch it, that can also assist. And Apple Z to undo that. Option, hold down the option key again. And Move the handle down a bit and have a straight line here. And again, I'm doing this very, very quickly. Option key again, and I can shift shift and there I am at the end now to remember to unclick we're going to hold down command and click away and there it is so you can see some areas are a little bit sloppy now if you wish to tidy that up and especially when you do your uh, final drawing we have the two arrows up here we have a black arrow which is called the selection tool and then we have the white one which is the direct selection tool and the direct selection tool, you see, if I click, then I can manipulate these points and move them to where I would want to be. And it'll be easier if we zoom in a bit. And I'll just do it quickly just to show you. As you can see, it's simple like that. And if you want to adjust a curve, you would click that there, and you can uh, play around with the handles and move things around however you need to do. I'll zoom out there and I'll just save it and that's about it.